Hi, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel, New Beginnings, My Everyday Life in Rural Cyprus. So here's a roundup today of all the recycled and salvaged items I use for planting and growing. Starting with growing, here of course are my toilet and kitchen roll tubes. I have a video of how I make these with no glue or tape. And my growing begins in these or in my cups that I use either this type or this type anything you can start seeds in and of course then I need containers to hold these in and I use any crates or bottoms of water bottles I do big growing in my old cat food bags which I fold down the top and pierce holes in the bottom for drainage I'm growing lavender and chives in these two wicker baskets I salvaged from a dump and I've just grown some tomatoes in this old vegetable drawer. I keep reusing this for different seeds and in a previous video you'll see I laughed the fact I was growing vegetables in here, my seeds and it says vegetables on the front. So nicely labelled there. Well done, me. I also have leeks grain in these two old toolboxes, the bases of these. And I have this polystyrene crate. These are very good for holding pots in and it also provides some insulation for germination. And these are some aubergines growing in these at the moment. Literally anything you can use as bases and these are polystyrene bottoms that you often have things from the supermarket in. These are olive oil containers when we have our olives that we grow and pick at home processed at the olive mill. This is what they give us our oil back in that we then double filter for double filter olive oil. And here are just some more things I've salvaged that I will use for growing in different drawers and trays and things. And here you will see in my salvage video lots of things I find. I think this is an old farming trough and in here at the moment I have lettuce and different types of tomatoes. As you can see I recycle everything, different bottle tops and bottoms and little dessert dishes all make good germination covers. Anything at all can make growing pots or good drip trays. My best growing device would have to be my rabbit cage. I doubt many people use a rabbit cage for growing and I've put strips of old wood inside just to make a flatter base. Let me show you what's going on in here. Lots of lettuce and peppers at the moment growing in here. Really big. And as you can see, any old plastic bags I have make great compost bags for growing. It's all my own homemade compost, but I use old bags as compost bags. When we arrived here there were two old baths so they are great for growing. There was an old toilet as well, I wasn't keen on having that but we did have a friend who wanted a toilet so he took that away. But you will see I do use lots of the backs of toilet systems whether I plant directly in them 
or use them to put more of my cat food bags. Cat food bags obviously cost nothing and I use them all the time, particularly good for my tomatoes. And again covered with dessert dishes for germination. And I always use any old tyres. You can stack these up as high as you like or just have them for one level directly in the ground. These are great for using with stout method with your straw and hay. I also found this old feeding trough and this is growing lettuce at the moment. I think this would be great actually for herbs. I don't grow many herbs at the moment but just shallow dishes are always very good for growing herbs. This was an old crate I found. Again, straw and hay inside. I'm actually starting growing ladies fingers or okra as some of you will call it in that. And of course, I can't show you places I grow recycled stuff without showing you the raised beds. These are the pallet beds that Mike made. No screws, no nails and I have a video on how we made those and you will see I cover with old neck curtains to keep away any butterflies or anything that will stop my produce growing. So pallet woods with tin roofing metal on the top and the canes I use are grown from bamboo in my garden. This is something else I grow in directly or use as drip trays. These are old canisters cut in half obviously know what was in them. You don't want chemical with your plants. And of course bottoms of milk bottles are always good for planting. I also use any old kitchenware, whether planted directly in or to put pots in. These are old casserole and saucepans, which are great for if pots split, you can keep the pot and just put it straight into these. I also have two old chimney pots, which were from the property. So they make good planting. And here is the other chimney pot, really good for hanging plants. Now here isn't what I'm growing in, it's what I've put the pot on. I have two of these. These are actually what you would put in the corner of a kitchen cabinet and it's a plate stacker where you put the different size plates on. I've actually turned these upside down so they hold larger pots but if you turn them the right way up they hold smaller pots. Here's the other one. So that's a good idea for you for growing. And then here we have an animal feeder. A lot of you homesteaders have probably got lots of old ones of these. These are great for growing in too. And I bet you can't guess what this is growing in. I have to try and turn it over to show you. I can't remember what this is called, what you grow in. It's some sort of flanny type cookware. And some snails obviously seem to love to live in here too. I'm contemplating this old original um, stone sink to grow in and I'm actually growing this pot on top of it's a bird bath that I actually bought from the country I came from with me but it's so shallow here and so hot that the water evaporates too quickly so it makes a great plant stand. 
And here I've got old dustbins cut down and just buried where you get soil that's too dry and just needs the water contained. So this is a good idea too. Along with some more sunken tyres. Just holds all the compost together. And again, you can pile these up to make them taller if you don't have good soil in the ground. And this is my new acquisition. I don't know what it is, but I found it. So it's obviously great for planting in. It's very deep. If any of you know what it is, please let me know. And what I thought here, I was going to push it into the ground because it's got this big knobble on the end. But I'm now thinking to put a broom handle in the bottom and then have it raised up and again I could have things draping growing over the top of it. So this is my newest idea for growing. So it will stand on a pole for growing. And the last thing I'm going to show you today are these are from an abandoned Cypriot house that were thrown away because they're renovating the house. And these are either feeders or planters. So I've got to repair them. And there's a few of them, so I can use all the original parts to make up two or three good ones. And these will be growing planters. I have many more amazing things I have found that I'm going to adapt and grow in. The basic thing is if you can find it and you can put earth in it, grow in it. Be unique, be different. Hope some of these gave you ideas and there's far more on my channel to see of further salvaged items and what I've done with them. Not just growing, you'll be surprised what else I do with things I find. So until next time, Meraki. Music